today i am uh, going to talk about uh, benefits of solar and uh, hybrid energy systems it's more of uh, technical rather uh, you know going into the uh, you know business perspective so we now we are uh, siemens and gamesa merged together now we are uh, the integration aspects of siemens and gamesa now we are almost about completion now so with uh, we have about 35 gigawatts 75 gigawatts of installation base with about 27000 employees across the globe and uh, we have a strong order book uh, from the siemens gamesa perspective moving into the topic hybrid energy system any system which combines two or three sources of renewables like solar or wind forms the hybrid system so the the main important thing here is how we operate the system like at what cost the pretty wind on its own it has its own advantages whereas solar has its own advantages but combination of both because both the sources are complementing each other in a given location so so that is what i am going to talk about today the idea is to see that we get optimized levelized cost of energy lcoe and the plant is always highly reliable with the uh, with the hybrid as a hybrid uh, advantage and coming to the benefits as a hybrid system so there are two fields that exists in a hybrid system one is called brown field where the solar already wind already exists and we have a green field system where both solar and wind we are going to put into so my presentation is more on the brown field so where we get advantages of existing wind plants wherever we have so when we are installing solar what will be the advantage so there are four advantage main major four advantages one is the plf so around 30% to 45% the plf got increased and highest energy availability or i can say that the aep will will enhance to the next level with the solar being uh, a partner with uh, with uh, uh, wind in addition to that we also have advantages from the infrastructure perspective so existing infrastructure like the substations uh, the extension bay all other things we can make use of it by installing the solar uh, with the existing wind plants and coming to the classification there are three classification usually usually people make like small less than 10 kilowatt less than 500 kilowatt we have medium and then we have about greater than 500 kilowatts anything above is is said to be utility scale so we are working more on the utility scale there are three configurations usually exist one is the way in which we connect the solar into the existing wind plants so that that is after the transformer if we are connecting so this is the configuration that it results in the challenge is with this challenge or uh, the main thing is like forecasting like when the wind is available and when the solar will be available which one makes because of the difference in tariffs but now i think more or less both of them are giving the same tariff but the control technology or uh, the control aspect is is little bit challenging and uh, so the second configuration is connecting before the transformer before the transformer so that we can save the transformer the bay extension mv line everything with this configuration moving on uh, we can use the same wind converter that is already available in the wind say existing say if, if i have say a capacity of wind converter which is capable of taking more uh, power so then i can make use of it so that means directly the dc output i can link it to the dc link of the wind converter so that uh, i can make use of the existing infrastructure 100% So this is our uh, plant, which is uh, located in Spain. We have we have a de demo plant, which is both solar and wind, which is about 200 kilowatts solar with 850 kilowatts of our uh, machine, which which involves energy storage and various technologies. So this is the test plant, which is running from last three years. 
I would like to play a small video here. Uh, I think you can just uh, please go through that. There are many remote places in this world. Towns not accessible by road, places not connected up to any grid. There are more than 1.2 billion people without access to electricity. Gamisa, as a leader in the global wind power industry, strives to leverage its business activities to address energy needs sustainably. That is the rationale behind Gamesa Off Grid, an innovative system for the provision of power to remote areas without access to the grid, such as islands, mines, and certain rural areas. Gamesa Off Grid is a world pioneering system in that it generates power by combining four technologies so wind and solar power, diesel, and storage batteries. And batteries as well. This solution prioritizes the use of energy generated from renewable sources over diesel by means of control software developed by Gamesa to ensure more cost-effective and cleaner power for its customers. Gamesa personalizes each off-grid project and accompanies its customers all along the value chain with an end-to-end -end surface suite from manufacturing through to plant installation, commissioning and operation and maintenance in remote regions. Gamesa Off-Grid is already a reality. Thank you for watching. So, this is a little bit of time I would like to spend on this slide. So there is, you can see there is an existing plant of say 40 megawatts which is existing uh, a brownfield wind project. So with the wind, we can produce about 47 uh, million units or 47 million units with solar and 109 with uh, wind. So the total it gives us about 157. So the combination comes up with 45% PLF, whereas individually if you see it is about 31 and 25%. So the curtailment is only about 1.15%. Even if we combine this with a wind and uh, wind solar with energy storage even the curtailment can be made zero it's only about uh, 5 lakh units 5 lakh 44620 units which we are not actually pumping into the grid with this so it's a it's a great system to work with as a hybrid system and these are some of the characteristics of in various months that we have simulated uh, the blue curve represents the solar Whereas the brown curve on the top represents the, the combination of both solar and wind. So you can see both the sources are complementing each other and meeting the power demands. Whenever there is an excess which you cannot see on the graph, which comes on the top of it. So that is what I was talking about 57,000. Every month both of them uh, gives the maximum energy and meets the requirements. So this is about 12 months uh, in a given calendar year. So these are some of the advantages going with uh, the hybrid systems. We have done a case study and now currently we are doing two projects, 40 megawatts uh, project in Karnataka and also we are uh, doing a 3.4 megawatt uh, project hybrid, both of them are hybrid systems uh, in Karnataka. And uh, so we also do a detailed shadow analysis before we, we install the solar modules. Uh, I would like to play a small video here again. Uh, so about how we do the shadow analysis. You can see here this is the uh, wind turbine shadow that is being monitored in the simulation. The left represents the morning on the right represents the from 12 to 6 p.m. So the whole uh, year we will analyze the uh, shadow like where exactly it is and we try to come up with the boundary uh, so that we don't install the panels in that boundary. And we also identify date December 21st being the worst case so that we also consider in the analysis so that uh, you know it gives us an uh, advantage before we actually install the panels in the existing wind plant. The presentation so so you can see in the next slide see we are actually avoiding uh, the the place where the shadow is going to fall the center of the wind turbine and arounding boundary we are actually avoiding and panels are installed away from the boundary line that you can see it 
and we in house we have our hybrid plant controllers which will manage the solar as well as the wind power so wind when there is a wind very high wind then we will try to utilize it if we have a good solar particularly during the day time then our controller will actually make use of the solar also combination of both combination of both in order to meet the plant demands we use it so now we are also working on the hybrid systems to meet the customer demand and this is our in-house software we can actually operate the plant for sitting in front of the laptop we can switch on various systems even remote operation is also possible and uh, with our inverters with our Gamesa brand inverters so we can meet the reactive power demands of the grid you can see here uh, the the red represents the total reactive power which is being uh, you know fed and how the inverter is actually meeting the green is actually representing how it is so there is a small difference only you can see it so the inverter is perfectly meeting the reactive power needs and we also certified by PUV for the reactive power compensation and why Siemens Gamesa? Siemens is actually into Siemens with Gamesa tie, uh, tying up so we, are, we have about install base of 3.2 gigawatts in India and also we have about 300 megawatt of installations of solar and in-house R&D facilities and we have our own uh, component control units and various research and development activities that we do in, in India and uh, this is our installation base so we have under operation about 213 megawatts of solar uh, in that as I was mentioning hybrid is about 40 megawatts about 40 megawatts that we are currently constructing those plants and under construction about 200 uh, megawatts that currently we are constructing thank you very much I